is your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Piesco and here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Voting season begins today for mid-Michigan. You can take part in early voting now through the 25th. It's the first time this kind of early voting has been made available in state history. Ballots will be processed but not counted until the early primary date of February 27th. And remember, your early voting site may not be the same as your regular polling place. For more details on the rules and locations, check out the hotlink section of WNEM.com. A sheriff's deputy hit in Tuscola County last night. The sheriff's office now confirming the deputy was hit at M24 in Blackmore in Fremont Township. The undersheriff tells TV5 the deputy suffered several broken bones and cuts and was rushed to the hospital. M24 was closed in both directions but has since reopened. Stay with TV5 as we continue to learn more about just what happened. Flint's Burston Fieldhouse is one step closer to completing renovations with a total investment of $2 million. One million comes from American Re Rescue Plan funds with the Mott Foundation making a matching donation. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely says the foundation will provide matching funds for all donations to the project and it's calling on other community organizations for their support. The renovation includes an all new gymnasium, tripling the size of the existing field house with new basketball courts and an elevated track. $30 million is still needed to complete the total project. And basketball is on the minds of many area high schoolers this weekend as they prepare to play on a different kind of court. The Great Lakes Bay Basketball Showcase hits the Dow Event Center later this morning at 10 o'clock. For many players, it's an opportunity to show mid-Michigan what they're made of. The day of play kicks off with the matchup between Saginaw Nouvelle and Carleton. You can still get tickets to see all the games at the Dow Event Center. Just check out the hot link section of our website. Now here's TV5's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Lauren. As we head into the afternoon, temperatures will be warming up from where they are right now in the middle and upper teens, but we really won't be making it that far as we only make it into the middle 20s for this afternoon. We'll also continue with those off and on snow showers that we'll see uh, you know, kind of throughout the afternoon, but they do quiet down just a little bit as we go into the evening. We'll pick those back up as we go into Sunday, and they're very often on hit and miss. They won't be a consistent heavy snowfall or anything like that, but we do have the chance for a few uh, off and on flurries to be moving through, leading to likely a dusting or less of any new accumulation. We're also going to be talking about wind for this weekend as well. So today temperatures in those middle 20s as we you know go into the afternoon. We're also starting to add in some of that wind. We're talking about 25 to 30 miles per hour. So middle 20s with some of those gusts close to 30. It's still going to feel quite cold out there uh, and that's going to be the case as those winds continue to increase as we go into the evening. So overnight wind chills will likely be a bit of an issue, especially as we start out on your Sunday morning. Now as we go through Sunday afternoon, temperatures will find their way to likely into the lower 30s, but even then still looking at 25 to 30 mile per hour gusts during the afternoon. So we will still be seeing uh, the it feel a little bit cooler than it actually is as we go throughout your Sunday. So that's the weekend for you. The chances for snow showers both days. We've got the winds increasing as well. Temperatures continue to increase through Monday and Tuesday with a drier trend taking over and some sunshine. More than likely more cloud cover for Monday and more sunshine for Tuesday. At this point, we're keeping a close eye on which day might have the more sun. But as we go into your Wednesday and Thursday, Thursday, we're watching for temperatures to increase and then drop right off as we go into the end of your week going into the weekend. We've got a storm system moving through there with a chance for rain showers and possibly even a few snow showers on Thursday as well. That sends us back into a cooler pattern into next weekend and we'll continue the flip flopping back and forth as we go through the following week as well. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.